What's up, y'all? How's it going? Uh, Marshall Lee of DonkeyJawProjects.com, and um, today is the day after Christmas. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys had a great Christmas um, and that you have a great new year. Um, and hope everything you were safe and that you know you had some good time with family and friends and uh hey maybe some of us leveled up with uh art stuff you know um with like some some cool new supplies or something like that that's always fun um <clears throat> so let's see i just uh decided on a whim to kind of uh read some manga decided to read um my hero academia the first two issues and those are they're just great issues i mean you know it's kind of like the beginning of a story um really well laid out like reminds me of things like um rocky um and just classic superhero stories um really amazing and it's like you know it's kind of funny because especially like with things like batman or spider-man you know one of the criticisms uh when they do new movies is oh well they they always like tell the kind of origin story over but honestly that's like kind of the best part you know to to sometimes or at least i don't know i mean you, you kind of want to start people so that they know like why you know these heroes are doing whatever they're doing um so that's kind of what this is you know and it just it's really cool like you think a world full of superheroes um wouldn't be the greatest environment for a really awesome superhero story but it so is um because it's showing what true her heroism is um in the face of kind of people who have a lot of power but but don't necessarily um exemplify uh heroic qualities um which is interesting and it's not like they're all bad but you know a lot of them you know they might be heroic but you know i don't know it takes something special to kind of jump into a dangerous situation and risk and sacrifice um and want to help people uh you know and it, it's just really cool and kind of you know they took a whole uh the second um issue to really show how the main protagonist kind of works up to the point where he can um do what he's gonna do i, I don't want to like <clears throat> spoil it or anything um so I, I mean most people if you haven't if you're interested in manga or interested in these kind of stories um you probably have already read this but there's a lot of people who love superhero comics and love like american comics that don't necessarily read manga i'm kind of one of those people who who in the past hasn't but you know as of the last year or two I've been digging into them a little more and I really enjoy manga a lot um and uh I feel like they're doing a lot of things right that um the American you know creators could learn some things from um and I think a lot of us are learning some things from them um so yeah it's really cool but one thing that kind of struck me as I was reading this story was you know I've always been um, somebody who felt like I could kind of do anything I put my mind to, I guess. Um, and it's interesting because the story kind of revolves around this whole thing where the kid's mom like felt empathy for him, but she didn't say the right thing. Um, and it made him feel like it was... It, it, it discouraged him, um, but maybe you know, whatever, it, he had to kind of face reality too, um, but I remember my mom, you know, she always told me, like, you can do anything, you know, um, it's crazy, like, she really just, I don't know, like, 
and I believed it, <laughs> you know, I was a kid, you know, what are you going to, you're going to believe what your parents say, you know, <laughs> especially if it's like positive reinforcement and stuff, and, you know, um, so I did, I, I, she would tell me, like, you're special, you know, you, you can, um, do anything, that kind of thing, and, you know, like I said, I believed it, and, um, now I've grown up and gone through, you know, 40 years of my life, I'm going to be 41 soon, and a lot of special and awesome things have, you know, I feel like <laughs> I have been very blessed, but at the same time, I've seen reality, you know, I've seen tough realities, um, and I still feel that feeling, though, like, right in my chest that, like, there's something I can do that's important or helpful or you know it's and, and it's kind of cool because because through experience you know you can see kind of the naivete or whatever <laughs> it sounds I don't know um but like of like this young kid because I, I was young and I had ideals uh you know that I've come to now realize some realities of those ideals um but you know I still like in my chest know like like, it's funny, I've said this kind of thing before, but I feel like, I feel like there's, like, this funny competitiveness that kind of happens, sort of, um, for me, personally, and it's, like, I feel like I'm better than, like, every artist, but I also realize that I'm not that good, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's weird, and I don't mean that as, like, an arrogant thing, um, I just feel like, if if any artist like I can do whatever any other artist can do like Kim Jong Un that's like the top that everybody talks about it doesn't really it impresses me but at the same time I'm like if I work hard enough I can do that too type of thing you know um I don't know you know I've always been like I knew I could do whatever like amazing things with art you know but what really it comes down to though, and this is the reality of it, is the work, you know, I probably will never get to a point where I'm as good as Kim Jong Yi or a lot of people. Um, but that's also because, you know, I look at them and have a lot of respect because they put the work in. That's really what makes the difference between the, the different artists and writers and creative people is how much work are you willing to put in, how much are you willing to sacrifice, things like that. Um, but at the same time, something that's really cool about art is you don't need to be the best to express something beautiful, something amazing, something meaningful, something great, you know. Um, you know, think of the, the comic book Mouse. Now, I, I've never read it, but I've I have an idea of what it is and, and I get, you know, what's going on there. Um, you know, that comic isn't, you know, the top most, um, like when you think of what's the most beautiful, amazing art you've ever heard of and what's the, you know, this and that, like what are the most amazing things in comics, you know, you don't necessarily think about like mouse as the most amazing art but at the same time and it's not that it's bad at all it's not that at all I'm, I'm not trying to critique mouse but it's also you know the holocaust told through mice you know <laughs> and cats and and so it's like you're like it's kind of a goofy idea to tell a very serious story you know but you know I imagine, I mean, just because of the subject matter and because of, you know, the cat-mouse kind of um, dichotomy, I guess. I don't even know if that's the right, I don't know what, I try to use words that are bigger than I understand. <laughs> um, but the cat, the cat-mouse and dynamic, <laughs> that's a better one that I understand. Um, because of that, uh, you know, it kind of works because you, you have like, you know, that kind of dynamic in the Holocaust story. Um, and it's a great, you know, metaphor to really tell that kind of thing. And that's what I imagine Mouse is. Um, again, I don't, I, I can't speak from reading it. I probably should read it. 
I tend to veer away from more serious stories. That's why every time I try to read Watchmen, I get bored and stop. Um, you know, it's just certain stuff isn't really up my alley, but I, I don't know. I, eventually, I'll probably read some of these things. Um, uh, I, I like hero stories. I like fun stories that have meaning um, and powerful impact. You know, that's just kind of what I gravitate to. Uh, you know, My Hero Academia is probably a perfect example of the kind of thing I really like. Um, and that's another thing, you know, if you are somebody who hasn't read a lot of manga, um, but you love superhero stories, you love the classic, you know, superhero stories that inspired you and, and things like that, I would highly, just from the first two issues, I would highly recommend you check out My Hero Academia because this is like the first time in a long time that I have read a story that resonates the way like Spider-Man or, you know, um, Superman or some of these great superhero stories, you know, um, resonates. So, um, it's really cool. Um, so, you know, the thing I'm thinking about though, too, with what, you know, reading this story is, you know, and the reason why I went into this like weird competitiveness thing, it's not really competitiveness. I just feel like there's almost like a power, you know, that I have or can have, I have the ability to have, it's like this, this looming thing that that could be like a really cool future a really cool destiny I could make some really cool things that um, are helpful and meaningful in the world and um, I've felt that for a long time and like I said the experience has taught me what true you know it's it's not about the kind of surface level things it's not about like the fame or like not that I'm trying to be famous but like it's not about that it's not about the money it's not about like so many things and I know this is like typical things you hear but this is coming from like a very real place through experience I've real I've come to understand what things are really important and really meaningful you know me being able to um help my wife you know who has um f some physical issues with her um with her her pain and stuff you know um me being able to sit down and hang out with my nephew yesterday when we were at Christmas and just play video games with him and interact and stuff like hanging out with my nephews is a great thing like hanging out with my family and and this is all very basic stuff that we all do you know and I see examples of it in my family and friends when I see them interacting with each other and it's real that's really what's inspiring me um and you know, it's those kind of connections and, and, and stuff like that's where the real thing is like, and, um, you know, inspiring people, the interactions I have with you guys online and, um, comments I, I get from doing these videos and things like that. And when I'm able to help people like that's, those are the real things, you know? Um, so that's what, when I feel like I'm doing those kind of things, that's like where the real reward is, you know? And that's, that's what I'm trying to get to, not the whatever money may come or whatever, you know, um, accolades or whatever. Those things are just kind of, they're kind of cool guide posts of like, oh, look, you know, you're doing things that people appreciate enough to, you know, recognize you in kind of official ways. That's really cool, too. You know, I'm not going to say there's nothing to that as well, but it's really like the, the substance of it, you know, is like is is in the more personal human stuff you know what I mean um so anyways <laughs> I'm like kind of there's so much to this kind of stuff like my hair academia is a really good story like it's bringing all this stuff out you know to me and making me feel like things <laughs> um so you know but there's like there's like this kind of almost hidden power this hidden potential that I think we all have you know I think we all want to be great in some capacity if that's a good way to put it I don't know this hand's starting to fall asleep from holding this phone because <laughs> um, I don't it's a weird position um, but you know we all have like something great in us we all it, it doesn't even matter it doesn't have to be like a flashy thing either it's like it can be, you know, somebody who volunteers at a food, you know, um, 
kitchen or whatever like you know what there's all kinds of different things i i've done like some volunteer things here and there too like just like it could be so many things you know it could be just being a mother or being a good father like <laughs> that's such those are like probably the most important roles in the world you know just if there's anything you should do well it's that you know being a good husband or a good wife too as well you know that's a huge thing because you can't really be a great father or mother if you can't be have a good relationship as a husband and wife um i mean you can but you know when something lacks in that dynamic i don't want to get into like all that but like it's important to maintain your relationship with your spouse i think um sorry I, that's like a whole different other thing but um and who am i to say i don't have kids so <laughs> but um you know that being said i feel like you know it's kind of like the the character in in my hero academia you know that you get to this point where there's this kind of potential power but it still needs to be worked for it still needs to be earned you know um so that's kind of the point i'm getting to is i know i have some things i really think i could do and would love to be able to do and it's possible that i'll never reach you know even half of those things it's very possible i'm 40 you know i'm not old but i'm not you know as young as i was um you know some people who really do some amazing things got their start like when they were really young you know and that's not the case for me um that also also you know but but there's all there's this idea of this like potential there and and that's what I've always thought like I know there's that potential personally and I know it's for everybody really like seriously like this isn't just like me trying to do like a motivational speech or whatever this is like <laughs> so true um you know I just I'm the type of person who is I think would maybe be a phlegmatic I guess I don't know I don't think that's my only thing but you know, that's like the type of person who kind of doesn't talk a lot, but observes a lot, which kind of sounds creepy, but like, like, I'm a listener, and I, I'm a viewer, like, I, in, in the sense that I just notice human interactions, and I see like, like, I spend the time to think about and observe these things. I, I'm more likely to to be less talkative in a group, but I observe some things and I feel enriched like I was talking, you know, and I do talk too. It's not like I'm not, I'm silent, but, um, you know, there's something to observing human interactivity that like you gain a lot from and and the the whole point I'm getting to with that is I see the potential in others you know is what I'm saying you know um there's a cool line from a Christian hip hop song um you know it says something it says don't look cuz it's talking about like Christians who criticize other Christians and stuff like that and um and and it says don't look for the godly man look for the god in man and I love that line, you know, because as much as I, I believe in what I believe in and think that it's good to have integrity and, and be a good person and, and do things according to truth and stuff, um, I also see the God in man. I also see the potential in man and women. Um, I, I see, you know, I, I look at people and I see like, man, if they just were able to work through this or work through that, like you you know the world would would see some amazing stuff from this person or you know if this this and that like it's not even a big like the world would see thing but it's just like if this wasn't holding them back like if they could just work through this like when they do that like it's going to be really cool to see them really do the thing that they almost were like meant to do you know what i mean and i think a lot of us as artists and creators and writers we have a very noble um potential and um the only thing that that keeps us away from that is doing the hard work um and sacrificing the things we need to sacrifice disciplining ourselves the all things we 
can control or we have the potential to control. Um, you know, as you're looking on, you know, 2020, a new decade, you know, just think about that. Think about where you want to be, you know, come the end of the next decade, you know. And and the thing is, is you put the goals out there and you're going to learn lessons you didn't even expect to learn, you know. I didn't expect, I expected when I was younger that I would be able to do certain things, but I did them, you know, you grow. I, I did them for probably a little more surface level stuff, even though I always wanted to be helpful and do meaningful things, but um, I didn't know what that was then, you know. Now I have a better idea of what that is, and I can see the markers of what, when I see certain things happen, I'm like, okay, those are, that's where I'm trying to get to, whereas before the only markers I really understood was kind of fame and money and t that kind of thing, because that's, that's what the world shows us, and that's, that's like, that's like the obvious kind of thing, but, you know, it's just it's just really cool. Just just look forward to next year and um, you know, make working and disciplining yourself or even just starting a new habit of working on your comic every day. I mean, I'll be honest, I've been not doing so great the last month or two, you know. I mean, I, I've still been keeping up to it for the most part, but even in the last week especially I, I haven't done my work as much. Um you know, it's just, there's just so much going on right now, but it's, that's really what that is, is an excuse. I probably should have still done my half an hour every day, and I need to get back to that. Um, you know, for the most part, this whole year, I've been really awesome with it. Like, it's just literally been the last week or maybe two weeks, you know. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, that's just, again, reading this comic is like, you know, hey, Marsh, you got to get back on your game, you know, the, these comics aren't going to make themselves, um, you know, these, this, uh, potential that you feel like you have is going to be wasted if you don't sacrifice, if you don't work hard, if you don't, you know, keep all, you know, juggling all the things you need to do, your responsibilities and your work and your this and that, but also put in that time every day. That's the way it's going to work, you know. So make some kind of goal to finish a mini comic in the next month or finish a full comic in the next six months or, you know, at least work on comics every day for, you know, do, do the 100 days of making comics. A lot of people do it uh, in the start of January, you know, that's a, if you haven't done that yet, I, I almost feel like that's almost like the prerequisite, <laughs> not that you have to, you don't have to do that, but that's something that really helped me, it doesn't help everybody, like my buddy Fue Storm, he's a really prolific guy, like he gets a lot of work done, he's writ written so much stuff, um, and, and, you know, he did the hundred days of making comics, but it didn't really resonate with him so much. You know, he's already kind of in career mode and, and working hard at this stuff all the time, every day, you know, a hundred day, days of making comics really wasn't the thing for him necessarily. He did it, but it was like, I don't think he got from it what as much necessarily as someone like, like to me, I feel like I, I've just gotten so much from it to the point where I've done two years of 360 days of making comics, even though I'm not doing so great in the last couple of weeks of the year, but, um, still I've done pretty darn well, you know, and I've done the hundred days of making comics a few times. So I'm just saying you don't have to do a hundred days of making comics. It might not be the thing for you, but you know, work a hundred days if you want to do it. It's 100 Days of Making Comics, started by Kevin Cross, and you work on your comic for at least a half, your personal project for at least a half an hour a day, every day, for 100 days consecutively, and you find some way, like a lot of people did YouTube videos, I think that's a really good way to do it, it's probably the best way in my opinion, um, but you know, you either make a video for every day or you post somewhere every day um, what your progress is. And that's that's kind of the way it's supposed to be done. Um, people have done different variations and that can still count. Um, but, you know, whether you do a blog, a blog or a, a Twitter post or a, a Instagram 
it's a short video or something, whatever it is, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Do it your way, but just work on your comic, your personal project for 100 days in a row. And if you're interested in doing that in the future in a bigger capacity, this is your first step. You know, this is a very important first step. So this isn't meant to be like a promo for 100 days of making comics or anything, but uh, this is just me talking about, again, um, you know, all... Um, my hero academia it just it reminds me of that potential that we all have and the only way to really get there and do do your thing is to put in that time and put in that work and i've seen so many of my friends and uh do this and it's changed their lives you know and creatively at the very least you know and it shows us that even when things are hard and even when when uh times start you know getting really tough and and a lot of stuff starts trying to threaten your time at working on this stuff. Um, if you just keep at it, you'll realize that it's kind of the lifeblood, you know, of what you're doing. Um, and it'll help, you know. And I don't know. I just think you guys are awesome. And I want to see uh, continue. I'm going to, I hope in the next decade to continue to see you guys really kicking butt with uh, with your comics, with your projects and all that stuff. And being creative and being good people, you know. That's really what it's all about. Um, when it comes to down to it so um, that's all I just had to say you know just really inspired today and uh, I hope you guys are having a great holiday season once again and I'll talk to you on the next vlog peace out